do a lot of dive rolling, and do your best to get on top of a building is really the only tip I have. Man, did you guys go to freaking Stormtrooper shooting school? I mean, seriously. You just had so many clear shots at me and you still couldn't hit me. That's just, that's just bad, man. That is just pathetic. Now, that's actually a really interesting thing right there, is... Okay, polarity wall. Hold R2, generate it. And it's basically a giant shield. Now, as you may have seen, and you can also do it while floating too, which is really cool. So yeah, it's a very useful power. It's a little hard to get used to using, like at the same time as like floating and stuff but it's a, definitely a helpful power to have. It certainly doesn't hurt to have a nice shield. But actually, an interesting thing about that scene there was that actually was showing the, I believe it was technically, yeah, it was the second mission of the game, the one where you try to escape for the first time. And as you saw in that, he was using the polarity wall then. And as you'll remember, we obviously did not have this power at that time in the game, so I would assume that was either it was either purely for demo purposes, or there is a very real possibility that this power was intended to A, be unlocked from the beginning, or B, unlocked very, very early on, or that C, that mission was, origin was initially going to be at a different time in the game. So that's just a little interesting thing to think about. So yeah, pretty epic. They can't even hurt you through the shield, but they can still shoot around it, obviously, as you might expect. Alright, this is the end of the substation. Kill you. Oh, crap! I didn't even know that could happen! Holy crap! I don't think I've ever had that happen once, playing through this game, where one of those platforms actually, like, exploded. Well, uh, first time for everything, I suppose.